Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I went solo on an Aerith server and we're gonna get quite rich in the server. Now for the first part of the video I was unaware that the server has a shop with all of the Aerith items in it so that's why you will see many rare slash admin items pop up in PvP. If you guys do enjoy videos like these on shop servers which are not my usual video types then let me know by dropping a like let's aim for 500 likes. Also would like to thank you all for 31,000 subscribers. The next goal is 32,000 so if any of you haven't subscribed yet I would very much appreciate it. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize, please join my Discord and contact me there. Today we're going through another one, which is a Sky Lantern Fanny Pack. To have a chance to win this, make sure that you have liked, subscribed, and comment something below. If you guys haven't checked out the 5 Mythical giveaway yet either, the link will also be in the description below, where 5 of you guys will each win an extra Mythical. Gem members also have a higher chance of winning. I would like to introduce today's sponsor, Wayward. Wayward is a challenging RPG adventure game where there is a large focus on simulation, exploration, and also discovery. In this game, there are no levels. The progression of your character depends on your own individual skills and stat gains by your interactions with items or objects. You can play this game in any way that you wish. In Wayward, there are over 630 items to craft, to discover, and interact with. There are also over 50 creatures and animals that you can combat with, harvest, or even tame. There is 25 plus hours worth of content and gameplay before you reach end game with even more content requiring hundreds of hours. There are 4 island types featuring unique content for each biome. Also there is an optional permadeath as well which is the hardcore game mode. Apart from the hardcore game mode there is also casual, challenge or custom. Wayward just had a major update release called Beacon's Call. This game also has a multiplayer mode where 32 players can all play together. If you guys are interested in playing this game the link will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, Arid. I have not played Arid in a while actually. And I really like this map, it's literally my favorite map that there is right now. We kind of joined the not that populated server, they want to chill a bit. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna run into a ton of PvP. So first things first, we're gonna get all of the tools. Today I want to build an actually big base. We're gonna do the usual, we're gonna go from nothing to hopefully a lot of loot. Now the server has a bit of high times loot, even picking up these items, we're getting duplicates. So I assume when harvesting trees and AMRs and whatnot, we're gonna get double as well. Alright, so we're not going to go to military or any of that, we're going to go straight to Point Lima. Over there, we're gonna try to get a law so that we can speed run the solo server. Get ourselves a pistol as well. All right, well, that, that's good to know. There's a little kit. You guys are wondering what the server is. It's called Deeps. Every video you guys ask. Now, in the server, there's currently one villain. There are a couple of duos. And then there's a bunch of solos. So we're gonna try to hunt them down eventually. Especially if he's a villain. Because God knows what kind of loot he will have. All right, so I've killed a couple of zombies. It is a bit high times loot. Yeah, we got ourselves a Uzi. Very nice. Since it's high times loot, I will not leave the server until we raid an adamantium base today. I promise you guys. Now right, we're gonna pick everything up, we're gonna salvage everything. All of these items give us quite a ton of good supplies, especially plastic, cloth. Plus we need to make ourselves a bed anyway. We'll take the parts, we'll take everything in here and we'll, we'll just salvage it. Yeah, this guy, this guy gives quite a ton of good loot. Alright, salvage everything. Get ourselves quite a ton of metal already. Get ourselves a roll of cloth. We could salvage the cameras as well, we don't really need them right now. Alright, so perhaps I was thinking that we could actually build the base here. Let me chop down some trees, check out how much the multiplier for logs even is, because I have absolute... Oh my, okay, well. There is a lot, it dropped six logs. That's literally like a small one by one. Alright, well I kind of see what the server is, it's mostly high loot, PvP oriented server. Which is kind of good as well, because that means we're probably gonna find a lot of bases. But there's a high chance they're gonna be empty. But I will still give it a try, I mean, I do try to make my videos as different as possible. I'm gonna get as much logs as possible so that we can actually start off with a pretty decently sized base instantly rather than just starting off with a one by one. I will stack all of them as well. Oh yeah, we got ourselves another stack. Oh, this is gonna be an insane base. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even lying. I was thinking of building the base here. First of all, we're close to the safe zone so that we can teleport to overpass and to military. We are close to Point Lima, which is a very good loot spawn as well. Very close to the main city, which is good to go to AG18, Horde Beacons, all of that. Wait, there's a guy coming. Oh, he had a gun. Oh, he's dead though. He had a uh, Uzi and a sniper. I don't know why I use the pistol when I actually have a Uzi myself. Now right, let's continue up the base. Now problem is, this guy knows where I live and it's very close to spawn. So he's probably gonna be back in like 10 minutes or even less. This is his high times loot. All he has to do is kill one zombie and he has a gun. But it's fine. I will still kill him. Alright, so the base is kind of done. We still need to do the roofs and then we'll make the bed, the doors, some storage. And then we start farming and seeing where people are. 
Oh uh, yeah, I knew it. This guy is coming back. We did finish the base up. We did both doors. We did storage, bed. So if we die, we're still fine. Came back with a gun and he didn't loot anywhere, by the way. He just came running straight. And he's dead. He had a Zolash. Okay. He might have a base where he put it in vault then. Alright, so yeah, this is currently how our base is. I do have some loot on the floor. Still got a stack of wood as well. I dropped everything here so that if he die, if he kills me, he wouldn't get them. Alright, let's make ourselves an industrial crate. And there we go. Put it right over there for now. Very nice. Put the guns. Obviously, I'm gonna go with the Zolash. I right, swear the clothes and we'll depot everything else. Right, so I'm over at Point Lima getting myself as much dog tags as possible. Oh, there's a mega. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're getting dog tags for a toolbox and metal. Yeah, we gotta kill this big boy. He's gonna give us quite a ton of loot, actually. Uh, oh, that was easy. Alright, let's kill the rest, because now the whole... Oh, I have no more ammo. Alright, let's just melee them then. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up as much dog... Oh, we got ourselves a, a actually gone now. Nice. Let's pick up the dog tags. 20 dog tags is 5 metal plates from the save zone, by the way. That's that's very good, man. And first of all, we still need the toolbox anyway. Oh yeah, let's stack them. There's even more zombies. If they give me guns, I'm also quite happy with it. Bro, I'm about to die, actually. I need meds. I'm like one bullet away from being killed. We also found ourselves a grenade box, by the way. I don't really see the point of grenades that much since they got nerfed heavily. Yeah, there's a lot of loot over there. That's what I like to see. Alright guys, insane Rex riches. Yeah, we got, our, we got ourselves some pretty good items. Let's let's wear this backpack first of all. Let's take all the ammo bells, the blasting caps, better vest, you know, a lot of attachments, a lot of helmets. We're gonna salvage all of those helmets. They're gonna give us a lot of armor plates. And those are used for lockers. So that's pretty good as well. Probably need to home depot and then return. Actually, we got we got no more space almost. There's a guy there. Yeah, I was about to home from my second drawn here. Got myself quite a ton of good loot. Yeah, let's switch to this gun. This gun's auto. Alright, let's med up. Let's get to 100 HP, hopefully. Yeah, that's good enough. I don't want to die. Actually, I have quite a ton of good loot on me. He's literally under me. Alright, he is dead. And he had... Alright. He had a... I think that's a, that's a rare gun, actually. I'm not sure. Right, let's kill all these zombies now. These zombies are deadlier than players sometimes. Alright, all dead. Yeah, I have a storage problem right now. I have no more space. Again. Somebody just told me that it's rude to kill people and unturned, and I apologized. Obviously, if I see this guy, I'm gonna kill him anyway. Alright, so from this loot trunk, I got myself two extra guns, a stack of HQ fabric, a stack of armor plates. I think I got like two stacks of electronics as well. And we are back in base. Alright, this guy forgives me for killing the other guy. I am happy now. I'll place the A stack over there. Gonna have to make myself some more storage. Also, from one zombie, we got ourselves. All the items for night vision, which is crazy. The guy that I killed as well, he, he loved the server. He, he kind of rage quit. All right, let's take all of these logs. I'm gonna make myself another industrial crate. We'll place the campfire there. So, so now I know one unraided base, which is extremely close to where my base is. So I already have ourselves a raiding target. We also got ourselves 100 dog tags from that one run, which is insane to be honest. There is a guy here. He's dead. Yeah, he only had the OZ. Alright, so my current plan is I'm going to go to the safe zone, get myself the toolbox, get myself a lot of metal. Apparently in the server you can buy stuff. I have 15,000 and I can buy a rewire kit for 4,000. Let me check if I can buy... No, I cannot buy explosive compounds. Okay, so you cannot buy everything, that's good. Can I buy a gas mask? Nope. Buy a hazard hood. Right, I'm pretty sure I need to get the ID for the arid one though. I had no idea that there was a shop in here. Oh, that's good to know. Alright, so I am in the safe zone, got myself one toolbox, a lot of metal, and I also did farm a lot of wood. We're gonna upgrade wood, I wanna build right now, I'm in a, a building mood. After that, we'll continue looting, doing our usual thing. But yeah, I'm gonna do the second floor, and I will show you guys as soon as it's done. The problem is I made a triangle there, actually, so it might be a bit of a pain, but it's fine, we'll fix it anyway, probably. Alright, boys, we're almost done. I must use all of the logs as well. And basically, this is the second floor. Made myself like a triangular bit. And then this is for... Wait, maybe we could salvage this and do a ramp instead. I think that looks much better. Yeah, we do it like that. Then we go up. We do a doorway here. We'll do it to the side there. And then we could just do the jump. Then we'll do a doorway there as well. All right, now we could make the doors. I'm pretty sure I should have everything to make it. You know, put the toolbox. Actually, we could put the toolbox upstairs. Yeah, I'll put that there for now. 
Now with all of this, I'm gonna upgrade it to... Oh, we need a blowtorch. I should have done it before, but with all of that metal, I'm just gonna make metal walls. I kind of wasted wood, but it's fine. It's very easy to get anyway. Over here, we'll probably do it our main loot room. We'll just continue upgrading with metal later on. There we go. You've used all of the metal. Very nice base, so now. Oh, no. We still, we still have more. Right, so for safe, we need armor plates and parts, which I do have down here. We got a stack of armor plates. We could put the HQ fabric up here, too. We could put all of the placeables at the second floor. And now we need parts. I made myself a safe. We'll place that right over there. Bro, it's pretty nice progression until now, man. I ain't complaining, actually. Put the toolbox there, and now we go out there and we continue looting. Wait, what? Somebody sh Dude, what's going on? What even are these guns? Wait, are they doing a horde or something? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go try to counter that. Oh yeah, they doing a horde i have never heard these guns before what even are they none of them just died yeah it's that guy that was telling me that i was rude for killing people i'm gonna go try to kill them all zombies there's a guy here another guy dead oh he's so low dead as well oh my god oh dude there's one more yeah i'm dead Oh, there are four. Well, obviously, I'm gonna go back. I got myself grenades. I'm just gonna throw a billion grenades over the wall. I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be back, though. But thankfully, we are quite close. Now, if I do actually manage to kill at least one, maybe we could put the high tier loot that he has. Whatever guns those are, in my vault. I'm gonna do kid dressing. First of all, get to 100 HP because on air, you never spawn with 100 HP. And we might probably need them. All right, we're here. We're still shooting. Let's just throw a billion grenades. Probably a waste. All right, let's go in. Oh, oh we did kill one. We killed somebody with that grenade. Right, let's see where they are. There's a guy there. He's dead. Another guy there. I hit him twice. Oh, there's a guy right here. He's dead. Oh my god, he's stacked. Right, let's kill the last dude. Oh. Dude, I hit him like so many times. Oh, he's getting, he's getting rude in the chat. I just tell him I'm sorry, Mabel, forgive me. Oh, yeah, he's actually, he's actually really mad. I mean, to be honest, I would be mad too. Let's go back again. Dude, they were stacked. Did you see that guy's load? I should have actually vaulted, like how I said. All right, we're gonna have to go with the Uzi. Bro, we killed three of them twice, and the fourth guy kills me. I hit him so many times, though, but he's using ex explosive rounds or whatever that was. All right, he's right here. He's dead. I think they finished the horde. I start putting stuff in vault, bro. I don't care. Goss mask. Dude, he's actually geared. Oh, yeah. Home. He threw a grenade at me. Right, let's go back. Let's pick up. Let's pick up. Let's, dude. I, a big rucksack? Oh, oh, my God. That was so close. Wait. A big rucksack. Bro, that's that's an admin rucksack. Look at this. Look at the size of this. Oh, that's staying in here. Right, we got ourselves quite a ton of HQ fabric. I don't know how he... I don't know if it's... I don't know if he's an admin or if maybe it's a kit. You got ourselves a black biohazard top as well. I never knew that even existed. And this is what we got involved. We got ourselves two full geared guns, HQ fabric, and a gauss mask, which is pretty good. Gauss mask is uh, it's quite good. We're gonna go back and we're gonna try to do the same thing. We should have got some more to be honest, but it's fine. At least we got something. At least we didn't die. Alright boys, so a bit of an update. First of all, one of the guys is actually extremely nice to me. I think he recognized me. And he explained to me that you can actually buy everything on the server. You could buy gauze masks, you could buy biohazard gear. And he's telling me that everybody on the server, basically, they just buy a biohazard top and bottoms, a gauze mask and a couple of filters, and they go straight to Fort Knell. Yeah, so that guy basically told me that you could buy whatever you want. And with like 9k, you can go straight to Fort Knell. So that's what I did. I bought... <laughs> Pretty much every- I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. I feel like it's kind of kind of cheating, but uh, that's just how the server is, man. I have no idea how I had this amount of money before, because apparently it's- I had quite a ton of money. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Fort Knell. He also told me that there is a command which is sell box, and basically in the sell box, whatever I put in it, it automatically sells instantly. Also, this big rucksack is- I'm pretty sure that's how they got it. They just probably bought it. Probably bought it with this. Let me know what you guys think of these kind of servers. Me personally, I have not played on any air server like this before. But I can see why it can be entertaining. Because if everybody does the same thing, everybody's gonna be fully geared. Then base raids are gonna be quite fun, to be honest. Yeah, now onwards to Fort Canal. 
We're gonna get as much money as possible, hopefully. We did kind of cheat Arid because we didn't do any of the progression. I didn't get a single key and I didn't even have to craft night vision or any of that. But as I said earlier, I'm not gonna stop till I find an adamantium base to raid. If I don't find any adamantium bases to raid, then I'm probably not gonna upload this video. Well, that means that if you're seeing this, then I am going to raid an adamantium base very soon. My boys, Fort Knell. We're using the Gosmos that we got from the guy that we killed. A billion documents back. Yeah, let's start with this as box thing. I don't know if these can be sold. Oh no, they cannot be sold. Alright, I'm not gonna take them then. I also did buy a rescue saw so that we can get ourselves the AMR. Now, most items cannot actually be sold, but we're still gonna give it a try. There's a bunch of guns on the floor. Let's pop the filter. I do have as much filters as I possibly could need. Let's kill the- oh, Cobra Crystal. But yeah, I'm not gonna take- I'm still gonna take some stuff with me in my base, some extra guns. We'll put all of these in there. And let's see. We made uh, 6k from that. Nice. And it took like 9k to get a full outfit for the dead zone. I got ourselves 8 more- oh, dude, we're gonna get so much money from this. So the items that cannot be sold are returning to my inventory. Alright, good to know. Oh, there's another rewire kit. I mean, I did- dude, there's a second one. Tank shell as well, wow. Another ammo belt. I'm not gonna sell the ammo belts. We're gonna use those for gunpowder. Because you cannot buy gunpowder or explosive compound. So we still gotta grind for those. A bunch of more guns, cell box. Put everything in there. And we got ourselves- uh, Quite a ton of money from that. We're using the big rock sack too, so we're gonna have... Uh, we're gonna take as much loot as we can. There's another TX. And there's a mega zombie as well. Hopefully I have enough ammo. He's just jumping out for no reason. Another magazine. So I'm pretty sure you can buy vehicles because... There are so many helis everywhere, man. Yeah, you dropped a lot of loot. We're gonna get so... Dude, we got 5k just for killing that zombie. Alright, let's kill them all. There's one more there. Alright, well... Time to sell everything. So the stuff that it doesn't take are like encrypted transmitters. It also doesn't take certain ammo boxes like subsonic as well. All right, so we'll take the mortars and I'm gonna take an auto shotgun. But all of these clothes, solid state drive, they're going they're going straight to being sold. Oh, well, I got myself the key for AMR. Hopefully they are yeah, it's here. Good. We got ourselves two AMR. Lovely. With your receiver. Wait, they're still here. I sold one AMR. It gave two K. Uh, yeah, we are done from this. Very good. Bro, we got so much. Look at this. We're gonna salvage all of those and we're gonna get, hopefully, a lots of C4 and we're gonna go on a raiding spree. Frankly, there are quite a ton of bases everywhere, man. So I'm not... It's gonna be worth it at the end. Let's take everything that we have. Let's take the rewire kit, even though we have two in our inventory already. I forgot about that. Place that one up there. We'll take all of these ammo belts. Let's start salvaging all of these. Already got nine full gunpowder there. Oh yeah, we need a toolbox for these. Let's take that. Bro, there's so many. And I got probably a lot of metal too from that because they all give me metal. Alright, let's do all the mortar rounds as well. You got... Dude, look at this. We have so many. I don't know how they're on the floor. Wait, what? We didn't even fill it up. Yeah, I can make a ton of AMR ammo as well. And C4. That's what we're gonna go for. We're gonna go for AMR and C4 today. Both of them. Alright, so I made them all into casings and from the casings... Oh, we gotta stack them. I already made myself another box, by the way. Got ourselves 40 AMR shots. And this is just the gunpowder. We still have all of the explosive compounds to use as well. I think it's time to upgrade base as well. Alright, boys. Huge base update. Made myself a full metal loot room. It's all triangular and I just put three industrial boxes. Now we're gonna use this gun. I've never used this gun before. And uh, we're probably gonna go hit up that first trade that I found that's very close. But first, let's make C4. Alright, so I crafted the detonator and two C4. That's how much we have for now. Not too bad. Alright, so this is the base we're gonna raid. It's wooden, it's two floors, two by two. No, I am actually unaware if there's base health. But we're still gonna give it a full try. Right, let's put that there. And it wasn't enough. Yeah, so it's probably double base health. Yeah, it is. Okay. So this one, nothing. Nice. Video receiver, some plastic. 30 plastic in total. Alright, yeah, this is a bad raid. HQ fabric. Nothing. Wood. Oh, never mind. Okay, well, we got ourselves quite a ton of gunpowder back. Some explosive compounds, a bunch of HE ammo belts. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Oh my, okay. Too bad I'm not using the loss anymore. There's some AP shells, some mime shells, a lot of medicine. Yeah, you know what? Not too bad. Not too disappointing. I'm gonna buy a big rucksack, the one that I found earlier. I kept the other one in base, but let's buy one so that we have a secondary and we take everything. This gunpowder is very, very important. And even all of those explosive compounds. I mean, I don't really need these laws. I'll, I'll take the mesh though. And I'll take these uh, shells. 
and all of this metal probably military computer yeah we could continue upgrading base man we didn't even check this one mkp box bunch of roll of lead crystal oh rpg warhead that's pretty nice too and this one yeah we checked this one nothing good all right not too bad all right so i am done i depoted everything from the trade now apparently i'm gonna go with that guy that explained to me earlier i was it was the same guy that i killed doing the horde beacon but one of them is very friendly the other is not really all right so we just found a raid it seems kind of big but it's mostly wooden unless it's just all honeycomb yeah it seems pretty nice all right we could give this raid a go now my teammate does have quite a ton of raiding gear hopefully he doesn't kill me actually because we're not in the same group or any of that i gave me a box nice all right and there is a claim generator yeah we should go oh he's gonna throw grenades yeah let's just back up a bit yeah i don't know why he's throwing grenades i don't think they do any damage to buildables i'm not sure though all right let's just eat oh we should just go with amr oh he's destroying the claim flag no no he's wasting oh he hit me he's wasting ammo because that could be broken with literally anything oh adamantium there we go we found the adamantium base all right so this means that below is probably where the good loot will, will start to happen hopefully we have enough he made a rather he made a ladder right, so my teammate just dropped like 10 rockets and we're gonna we're gonna go with it all right i don't know where it's safe to shoot i think right here is okay yeah we're good i don't want to accidentally kill both of us you know another rocket and this is all honey yeah it's all adamantium there oh you can buy ladders okay yeah i'm pretty sure that's what my teammate did as well let's continue using uh, the rocket launcher for a grenade rocket launcher oh bro i'm flying oh we broke it oh yeah we did finally yeah, there's loot down there anything good hq fabric armor plates military computers i'm liking how this raid is starting to look by the way it's not even like that high times loot i think it's like five times it's not anything that crazy it's not 100 times or any of that it's just that the shop is quite op in my opinion all right let's put a rocket there probably it's two floors full adamantium now oh, we broke that yeah, even more loot yeah, there's a lot of loot okay this one's full of stuff cobalt crystal two more cobalt crystals bro there's so much and yeah, this raid is pretty good we still have another floor to go. dude there's so much adamantium ingots i'm making my full base adamantium after this because i don't think you can buy adamantium there's so much metal as well oh yeah let's start raiding these lockers all right magazine i'm pretty sure it takes like a full amr metal broke uh, nothing that good there's one explosive compound there's a couple explosive compounds on gunpowder that's pretty nice that's always good that's why he broke it bunch of ammo gunpowder there have a lot of gunpowder i'm pretty sure i can make another amr box there's an airdrop passing by as well billion field telephones down here dude look at all of that adamantium this one has nothing that good Let's reload this. This one broke. Another AMR, another rocket launcher, explosive compounds, gunpowder there, mesh. Ow, pretty good. I'm really happy with this raid. Oh, that was kind of a waste. Alright, let's raid this. Wait, where is he raiding? He's going below. Okay. Yeah, there's one more floor. There's somebody shooting Zolash very close. Is there anything good down there? It seems like there's like boxes of metal parts. Alright, this broke and uh, gunpowder, metal crates, ammo crates, so say drive, ladders, honeybee. At the end, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open cell box and sell everything that's on the floor. First, we're picking up items that we want. For myself, a battle axe, let's go! Alright, yeah, we still have this floor to raid through. Hopefully, we have enough ammo. I'm pretty sure I still have some rockets. Yeah, I am out of AMR. Yeah, I still have rocket launcher. I could give all of this to him. I'm gonna go with rocket launcher. Oh! Oh my, dude, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Alright, I got all my loot. I'm pretty sure my teammate, yeah, my teammate did get through. This is the second floor, by the way. And let's see. Oh my god! Bro, look at all of this gunpowder. Bro, that's cr there's an MKP as well. They crafted an MKP. I haven't seen one of that in forever. 
Uh, this gunpowder is so good. Explosive compounds as well. Grenade launcher. Is a rock? Oh, that's a normal rucksack. Bro, the owners of this base grinded. They have a brand. And I don't think that they know about the, the shop either. All right, very, very good raid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're done from this. I think we still have a couple lockers up there unless my teammate already broke them. But definitely profit. I mean, to be honest, I definitely did because I only used my AMR. But my teammate did put a lot of rockets into this. Huge shout out to him for helping me with this raid. There's a lot of gun parts, another MKP. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, and do you do want to see more shop videos like this? Something different is always nice to do, so that the channel wouldn't be the same thing over and over. I did have a good time, to be honest. But if you guys do like it, and do want to see it more frequent on the channel, then let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!